Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky and welcome to episode 6 of Garage Wars, the series where I rate your guys' garages. If you want to possibly be in one of these in a future episode, make sure to let me know you're subscribed with the bell on and you have a cool garage to showcase. Now, if you want to see more Garage Wars on the channel, take a second to drop a like on this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a sub, join the Hacky Army because you do not want to miss any more videos like these. Help us reach 100k, that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway though, let's get straight into it. Alright, now we're going to be checking out Curse's Garage. Let's go ahead and take a look. So first car, we got the Cyclone right here. This is a beautiful paint job. I think that's Frost White on the wheels, unfortunately. I wish it was Ice White. That would look so much cleaner. But it's not the end of the world. He's also got the reset yank to play on it. First car, beautiful. Next up, we got the Deluxo. He's got this like lava-ish paint job on it. You can't see the pearlescent too much, but it's like an orange-ish. Not sure if that's Frost White or Ice White on the wheels once again. Next up, we got the Mariachi Tornado with Bennies. This pink is awesome. I'm a big fan of this modded pink he's also got the reset yankton plate once again and the bennies wheels on it look pretty nice as well next up we got the paragon r with f1s i feel like bennies would look a little bit better but let's just talk about this beautiful paint job it's like a dark purple with a blue pearlescent for some reason the blue just shows on the car like a ton like you can see more blue than purple i feel like really nice paint job and next up we got a secret gold minivan i think that's yellow on the wheels not necessarily secret gold i think that is selected i think that's a selected yellow because the the car looks a little bit nicer than the wheel color, but it's just a nice secret gold. He's got the yellow branding on the F1 wheels. Next up, we got the PR4 with a nice like crew chrome paint job. I'm not sure if this is a reddish or an orangish paint job. Nice to see some people using crew chrome though. And then he's got Benny's wheels on it. Heading up to the second floor, we got a triple black night shark. This looks freaking mean. Such a clean design. This honestly looks amazing. Or I'm not sure if this is a liquid black. I'm not sure if there's too much of a difference, but it looks amazing. He's got the F1s on there. Next up, we got the, what do you even call this car? The pre Primo. Another awesome looking blue paint job on it. He's got the F1s. I definitely don't see this car too often at all whatsoever. So credit to you for having it and having that beautiful paint job. Next up, we got the Tesseract. This green color is freaking amazing. This is one of the nicest greens I've seen in a while. He's got the green branding on the F1 wheels as well. He's got like a goldish yellowish per lesson. At least that's what it looks like on the livery of the car. And personally, I'd take off this livery. I think it would look much better without any livery or maybe like a really simple looking one. But next up, we got the AP see he's got the galaxy paint job on it he's got this like aqua looking color it's like an aqua blue with i think that's like a yellowish pearlescent he's got the frost white bennies on there next up we got the taxi it's actually called the dynasty but he's got this like goldish paint job on it it looks like a darker gold bronzish color on the wheels but it still does match up pretty nicely with the rest of the car next one's gonna be the hot ring saber i'm not sure why he has purple on the wheels along with that like diamond looking paint job on the car definitely white or just a matching blue color would look better on the wheels but credit to you for even having it because i mean i don't see too many hot ring sabers next up we got the reaper though he's got this beautiful like rose gold color on it it looks a little different from the usual rose gold it's like a nice neon like pinkish he's got the goldish pearlescent on there this paint job is amazing one of the best paint jobs i've seen in this garage for sure so far heading up to the third floor we're going to be starting off with a patriot he's got this livery on it i'm pretty sure this is one of those like secret liveries next up we got an lg i'm not sure if this color is a very dark blue or like a purple it's one of those colors that it's really close to purple but it's like in between a very dark blue to a purple but he does have the blue pearlescent on it giving it that nice touch next up is the sultan classic he's got this like very bright blue color it's actually pretty close to a turquoise he's got the ice white pearlescent on it matching up with the white on the wheels next up we have another similar paint job to the reaper we saw i'm pretty sure or this actually might be a little bit different this is more of like a peach type color he's got the matching color on the wheels as well which looks really nice i'm definitely a big fan of peach paint jobs and this looks awesome and that's the xxr of course next up we got the coquette classic he's got the invisible glitched back on it he's got this purple with a blue pearlescent pretty nice next up we got the furia this is like a burgundy color i'm not a huge fan of this combo the burgundy with the blue but it doesn't look that bad next up for the final car actually we got the t20 but i definitely am a fan of this paint job it looks awesome it's like a nice dark modded purple with a like orangish pearlescent i want to say this one is a really nice combo in my opinion i like it a lot i do like the wheels he's got on there as well this one's definitely one of my favorites and now let's go ahead and tell him what he got all right curse your final rating is 7.8 
Alright, so we got Famous's Garage. Let's go ahead and take a look. So first vehicle, we got the modded Tory Door. It's some sort of red pearlescent. He's got the red branding on the F1 wheels as well. And I'm guessing it's supposed to match a part of the livery right there as well. It's an overall like green and black look. So there's honestly just a whole lot of colors on this one. I mean, you got the light blue on the wheels as well. So a whole lot of colors on this one. It is a unique design. For some reason, it doesn't look too bad. Like he's using so many different colors like green, red, blue and everything. Even a little yellow right here. But for some reason it doesn't look too bad i actually do like this design it is unique for sure next up we got a night shark we got one of these secret liveries i forgot what this specific one is called but he's got the all red here he's got red on the wheels red branding and he's got this like secret gold looking pearlescent i'm not sure if it's meant to be a secret gold or just like a really nice looking goldish pearlescent another pretty unique design next up we have the minivan he's got another all red type thing although he's got ice white on the wheels he's got some sort of bright pearlescent on it i'm not sure if it's necessarily white but pretty cool color Car. Next up, we have the Weasel News Van. He's got this like yellow pearlescent on a black. But once again, a pretty unique design. I don't see too many black and yellow Weasel News Vans. He's also got the Blankton on the back as well. Next up, we have a diamond paint job on the Armored Karuma. I'm not sure if he has the glitch seats. He probably does, but he's got the Ice White pearlescent on it to give it that like nice diamond looking shine. Ice White on the wheels as well. Now, next up, we have the Buffalo. This is, I'm pretty sure, like the Toy Story design with the green, the blue, and then the yellow and the red. And yeah, it is a Toy Story design. He's got the Toy story on the yankton plate right there next up we have a triple white hellfire i love those wheels those wheels look amazing on the hellfire just like i said in past episodes you really can't go wrong with a triple white looks super clean next up we have in arena vehicles this is the future shock zr380 whoa what's going on with the wheel in the back i'm not sure if that's a customization option or it's just glitched but another clean white design next up we got the clique this is the exclusive christmas vehicle from a couple years ago he's got the orangish pearlescent on the black personally i wish it was a yellow just so it actually matches up with the wheels or vice versa just because he's got the yellow on the wheels there's also some yellow on the livery as well i do like the car though next up we got a peanut butter jelly lg retro custom i think i used to have this exact design as well i think i got rid of it just because the wheel color isn't exactly like the pearlescent i would have liked it more if it was a brighter color on the wheels but it still is a nice design next up we got the jester classic it's like a neon orange with a yellowish pearlescent he's got orange on the wheels as well I'm not sure if that's selected or unselected i'm not usually a fan of orange along with the green because he's got the green on the livery but it actually doesn't look too bad he's got the too fast for you on the yank to plate right there as well this car is awesome i like this design a lot next up is a secret gold oppressor mark one i don't see too many modded oppressor mark ones this is a pretty cool design right here next up we got another secret gold this time on the bjxl i'm guessing he has michael in the back yeah there he is right there that is glitched if you guys don't know that's actually a glitch you need to do that is glitched if you guys don't know you actually have to do a glitch to get it up to the third and final floor of this garage we got some lost lane vans here we got a triple white one ice white on the wheels ice white on the car he's also got the blankton on the back right there pretty simple not too much to say about that one it's pretty clean though next up we got a lime green one he's got the ice white benny's wheels on it he's got like a yellowish pearlescent next up we got a purple buffalo i actually think i call the buffalo s from another floor the buffalo so my mistake on that one but this is the actual buffalo he's got the blankton in the back ice white benny's wheels as well pretty cool design next up we got the scram jet he's got this this, like subtle purplish color with the bluish pearlescent pretty freaking clean he's got the ice white benny's wheels just like on that one next up we got this like aqua blue on the nero i like this one a lot the only thing with this one is he's got a different shade of blue on the wheels if he would have had like ice white on the wheels or just the same exact color as on the car i think it would have looked a lot better next up we got another rumpo the first rumpo was actually the weasel news van i love this paint job i don't see too many just clean rumpos like this so credit to you for that next up for the final vehicle we have the squatty he's got this nice modded purple with a goldish pearlescent i wish the wheels would have been yellow or just ice white or anything besides that color because once again usually the color of the wheels are supposed to match either the car or the pearlescent or just something but this is more of like some sort of like do green more than like some sort of yellowish goldish color but i love the paint job i just wish the color of the wheels were different mr famous xbox my final rating for you is 7.6